Lawrence Selkirk Park Resource Center and the U of M nursing students. Um, today we're going to be making some paintings. So in your kit, you should have three colors of paint. So you should have a red, a yellow, and a blue, as well as a handful of popsicle sticks and some plates. And then you will have either this canvas or you can have this canvas in your kit. Everyone got something different. And then everything will come in your plastic bag here. So you should have all these things in your kit. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put all of your other supplies to the side and we're just going to be using our paint, a popsicle stick, and one of our um, plates. So the color that I'm going to make today is I'm going to make green. So in order to make green, you need to take yellow and you need to take blue. So we're just gonna put our red to the side. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna open your paint up and you're gonna pour a little bit of yellow in there. There we go, pour it on. And then we're gonna pour some blue in there as well. And then all you have to do is mix it. So, mix it up and you're gonna make a nice green color. All right, so the next color I'm gonna make is purple. So what I'm gonna to use to make purple is red and blue. So I'm just gonna pour red onto my plate. I'm actually gonna use more red than blue to create the purple that I want. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of blue here. Good, and then I'll mix them again. All right, so the last color that we're gonna make today is orange. But if you wanna make other colors, I'm gonna post a color chart right now. So that's how you make other colors. You're welcome to pause the video there so you can see how to make all the colors you would want. I'm gonna make orange right now though. So how you make orange is you take some yellow and some red. and you mix them together again. My color is a little bit light, it looks a little bit pinky for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add more yellow in and that's okay, you can add as much color in as you want until you get the color that you want. There you go. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's and there you go, that's how you make orange. Alrighty, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add just a little bit of water to our paints so that they can we can help them spread on our canvas. So I'm just gonna take a spoon, just a tiny bit of water, it doesn't take a lot, and we're just gonna put a little bit in there. And it's a little scoops. And this will just help it mix on our canvas. So then all you have to do is just mix your water in. And if you can see, it's getting more and more liquidy. So it now moves a little bit on its own. So that will help us mix our paints all together. So we'll try it with this one too. So if you see now this one, it moves all on its own. So that will help us. And you're gonna do it to all of your paints is mix them. All right, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your mixed paint and you're gonna put little spots on your, you can use your, you and you're put little spots on your canvas. So this need you need to put lots of paint on here. Always do too much for this one. So I've added that. I'm gonna add some of my orange in here now. And you need enough paint on here so that they'll move around and that they'll mix. There's little splotches on there. I'm gonna add some of my purple, I think. I'm 
Let's get all of this one. Mm -hmm. All right, now the next thing to add is I think I'm gonna add some yellow in here. So I'm gonna take my base yellow and I'm gonna add some colors of yellow. Alrighty, so then I, now that I have all my paints on there, this is how I put them on. I'm gonna put it in my bag. You're gonna open up your Ziploc bag. You're gonna take your canvas, carefully put it in, and then you can drop it on. I'm gonna seal it up so you don't get paint all over your, your home. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna mix it around. So you wanna push it. And it doesn't matter, you can't make a mess when it's in the bag. This is how I decided to push it around. Other than that, this part might get a little bit messy, so you might want some paper towel nearby. We're gonna pull it out of our bag. And voila! We're gonna let it dry in a safe space so it doesn't get bumped or anything. So I might put it on back on top of here. And you're gonna let it dry, and then you have your very own painting. Here's another example of paintings you can make. Maybe we'll be up.